Nationwide, there are almost 100,000 active missing persons cases. Dateline's Missing in America Facebook series has been telling some of those stories. One of the first came from the heartland. This is where Carrie Olson went missing in December of 2013. I thought about calling hospitals. I just was scared. Where was Carrie? Everybody knew about it. It was the talk of the town. Dennis Harker is the founder of the Quad Cities Missing Persons Network. Whenever there was anything newsworthy, it was posted. It was in the news, it was on Facebook. Carrie's best friend Amanda was a big part of that. On New Year's Day, I did create a Find Carrie Olson Facebook page. People were sharing it left and right. I even contacted Dateline and they published her story. Thousands started following Amanda's page. At internet speed, Carrie's friends were now sharing everything. Detectives were also still looking all over town for any sign of Carrie. What could have happened to her? We need to find answers for this family. It was awful to see the family go through what they had to go through. And law enforcement on both sides of the Mississippi were doing their best, pushing the investigation as hard as they could. It was a mystery. We felt something just wasn't right, something was going on. Sarah Paxton was searching too. It just felt like a needle in a haystack. And I had to do something for her. She would have done it for me. A needle in a haystack. But Carrie's friends and family would not stop looking or hoping. Hundreds of tips came in. It would be something much closer to home that would finally lead to the first clues about what really happened.